This week on Undecided is advice week and I didn't really know what to do because I didn't know what topic to give advice on but then an idea came to me. I watched Lil Anthony's video and it was 16 things I learned at the age of 16 so I'm going to do 16 pieces of advice from a 16 year old girl. I'm wearing a big t-shirt, a sports bra, and my hair in a ponytail because I am really comfy and I didn't feel like changing and you know what? That's all right. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Don't give in to peer pressure, no matter who it is, if it's other groups of girls or if it's guys or if it's your parents or if it's your friends, don't give in to peer pressure. If you don't feel comfortable doing something and it just is awkward or uncomfortable or doesn't feel right, don't do it because trust your gut and trust your instinct because that's that's all you have. It's always right, I'm telling you. There's so many times where I haven't trusted my gut, just like making even simple decisions and it's I should have went with it. Dress however you want to dress. It doesn't matter if it's in fashion, doesn't matter if it's considered a beard, doesn't matter if it's last season, it doesn't matter if it's not from a high-end store. Dress how you want to dress. If you find cute clothes and you like them and they make you feel good, then wear them. Your, this is your body. You can put whatever the heck you want on it and it doesn't matter what other people think. Don't try to follow a diet or don't try to eat diet food. This is weird because like I'm into like healthy stuff but what I'm saying is don't eat the food that says it's low calorie, no sugar, no added fat, whatever because what all the stuff that it's missing, it's replaced by chemicals and it's not going to be good for your skin. It's not going to be good for your body. It's not going to be good for your hair. And honestly, they're just as bad on the chemical end of it as they are if they did have the extra sugar and calories and fat or whatever it is. It's okay to have acne. It's okay to have pimples. It's okay to have blemishes or scars or discoloration. It's okay. No one cares. Everyone has it or everyone had it or everyone's going to have it. And it doesn't matter. When people see if you have acne, they don't care. They'll look at it and maybe they'll think, oh, that's unfortunate. She broke out a little bit today. But they won't. That will be the only thought that runs through their mind. They're not going to dread it for the rest of the day. They're not going to think about that girl who had acne on her face for the rest of the day. So you shouldn't worry about it either. Who cares? Everyone's going to have it. It's the circle of life. Don't have your life controlled by boys or relationships or wanting to be in a relationship. If it's a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter. That shouldn't be your whole entire life. You don't need a boyfriend or girlfriend to be happy. You don't need someone else or the status of being in a relationship to be happy. So don't worry about it. I mean, yeah, maybe you do have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you really love them and it it is what it is. But I mean, if you don't and you're so worried all the time about having one, it doesn't matter. They will come. You'll find the person that's right for you. And high school, honestly, is not the best place to find someone that's right for you. It's only like the smallest, smallest fraction of all the people in the world. So don't worry about being in a relationship. Find a passion that you truly, truly enjoy, whether it's sports or drawing or singing or drama club or making YouTube videos or whatever it is and if it makes you happy and if you could do it for the rest of your life then do it for the rest of your life make it your job work in high school or school towards whatever it is take classes relating to whatever it is and find your passion because you don't want to be stuck in a job that you hate when you could have worked during your younger years to get the job that you want Move your body. Get out there. It doesn't matter what you do. You don't have to be an athlete, but if you do sports, awesome. If you like to run, awesome. If you're signed up for a gym, awesome. If you do workout videos in your room, awesome. Do something that gets you moving because you don't want to be stuck all day sitting in class and you don't want to be stuck all day in your room and doing nothing. You want to get your body moving. I'm telling you, if you're stressed out or sad or whatever, I love to run. I love to go to the gym and just clear my mind and exercising just makes me so much happier no matter what stressful situation I'm in. So get your body moving. Junk food is exactly what it is. It is junk. Don't eat it. Don't have your whole diet of junk food, even though it might be easy to pack maybe snack packs or bags of chips for lunch or whatever it is, but it's so much easier to pick up an apple and put it in your lunch bag instead of going through the whole process of opening the bag, putting it in a smaller bag, zipping it up, putting it in your lunch box. You feel, don't eat so much junk food. Yes, you can obviously eat it every once in a while, and yes, if you have friends over and you want to eat junk food or you go to the movies and eat popcorn, totally fine, as long as you eat everything in moderation, but... 
don't have so much junk food in your life because you're not going to be happy. It makes you think so much lower, makes you move so much lower, and it makes you feel like junk. So, yeah. You don't have to be everyone's best friend. You don't have to have every single person like you. You don't have to have all the teachers or all the parents or all your friends or all the girls or all the boys like you. It doesn't matter. If people don't like you, that has absolutely nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So don't worry. Just be yourself and people that like you will come to you and you'll become friends with them and you don't have to please every single person. If you can get a job, awesome. Don't think of just getting a job as a way to make money. Even if you're just doing chores or something like that, think of a job as being responsibility. And if you get a job at a younger age, yes, it might not be the funnest. That's not a word. It might not be the most fun, but it will give you so much insight into other things and you'll be able to put that one job on your resume once you want to get other jobs and just try to find some sort of responsibility even if it's not like a real job it could be like being part of a club and you have to have and you have to do certain tasks or it can be being part of a team and maybe you're like the team manager find some sort of responsibility and it will teach you so much this is a really big one please respect your parents I don't understand how people could be so res disrespectful to their parents, especially certain people who get whatever they want. Like, I don't understand how that logic works. Respect your parents. They do so much for you. They're not trying to be mean. They're not trying to be rude. But if you're going to be rude to them or you're going to be demanding of them, then they're going to they're going to not give you things back. So if you respect your parents, they will just do so much more for you and respect you back and give you the freedom that you want. And you gotta respect their decisions too. They're just trying to do the best for you. And don't don't be rude to your parents, especially your mom. Um, if you're also a teenage girl, this is directly toward teenage girls, but like your mom should be your best friend. But if you don't have a good relationship, you don't have to like her, but you still have to respect her. Laugh more, have more fun, get out there, do fun things that you like, even if it's not with the coolest people or at the coolest places or at doing the coolest things. If you do things with people that you like and you like doing those things then do them then do them like I don't understand like do things that make you happy take a break from school and stress and life and just do things that make you happy and laugh more and take lots of pictures or don't take any pictures at all or whatever it is do stuff that makes you happy it makes you laugh and make you smile appreciate your body you're probably never never going to be this body shape again you're gonna grow into it you're gonna slim down or you're going to get bigger boobs or a bigger butt I mean appreciate what you have now no one looks like a supermodel in high school all of those tv shows and movies the people that play high schoolers are 20 plus years old they don't look like high schoolers they're all mature and high schoolers in real life don't look like that I'm telling you boys in tv shows do not look the same as boys in real life, I'm telling you. So appreciate the body that you have. You're going to grow into it. Just, it's okay to be awkward. It's okay to not fit in or have bushy eyebrows or whatever it is. Just appreciate what you have and work it. Never let anyone take advantage of you. Even if it's friends, if it's boys, if it's your parents, or if it's your siblings. Stand up for yourself and state your beliefs and what you think is right and never let anyone take credit for your work or make you do work that you don't want to do or whatever it is don't let anyone take advantage of you stand up for yourself especially this comes to groups of girls like if you're not in a good situation and you feel like you're being attacked or whatever it is get out of the situation it's just don't let anyone take advantage of you. I see this so much and it's one of the biggest tips. You are not a carbon copy of your parents or your older sibling or your better sibling. You are your own person. Do not let other people compare you to other people, even if it's your best friend. Like, you are different people. You have different abilities and interests and talents and skills and you cannot be compared to other people because you're not those people. You're your own person. So... If you don't get the best grades, but maybe your older sibling had the best grades in the world, it doesn't matter. You don't have the same brain as your older sibling, so don't let other people compare you to other people. And finally, stop doubting yourself. Do what you love. Make the decisions that might not be the norm or do things that might not be the normal things to do. Stop doubting yourself. Go with your gut. Follow all my other tips.
that was a weird promo, but I mean, like, that's what I'm trying to, that, that's what I'm here for. Like, oh my god, just be yourself and do things that you love and laugh and get good grades or try your best to get good grades, even if you don't, or just whatever it is, I'm getting really worked up because you just need to live your life. So that was my very inspirational video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this. And as always, stay tuned for next week's video. Peace.